all of our region, and of course Washington, is keeping close tabs on this electoral process taking place today in Colombia. We see two completely different visions. Rodolfo Hernandez, the candidate of Uribismo, of the right wing of the narco paramilitary state, and the continuation of Ivan Duque, was against the 2016 peace accords process. He was against the implementation of peace in the country and all of its points. And he would agree to maintain the status quo in which Ivan Duque has failed deliberately, has chosen not to implement the points of the accord. On the other hand, we have Gustavo Petro and the Pacto Historico. They supported the process back in 2016, and they have been at the forefront of demanding that implementation. Gustavo Petro says that if he becomes president, he will ensure that these points that were signed to by different sectors and different organizations and parties in 2016 are now implemented. One of the most important points is popular democratic agrarian reform that was on the peace accords of 2016. This is important because this, uh, the rural area of Colombia is absolutely plagued with violence and the resurgence of transnational criminal organizations of the paramilitaries and violent crime that affects the everyday lives of people living in the rural areas, of campesinos, of Afro-descendant and indigenous peoples, and all rural peoples, and it also affects their economic livelihood. For a chance at prosperity, they need democratic agrarian popular reform.